In most river basins in the Indian Himalaya, firewood availability is so poor that it is viewed as a crisis by the communities. Women and children have to trudge for four to five hours foraging for scarce firewood. Depletion of forest cover also has an adverse effect on the recharge of the subsurface groundwater, which in turn leads to drying up of natural springs in the region. This means that women and children need to spend even more time and energy fetching water from distant sources. Biogas is a renewable source of energy that is both ecologically sustainable and financially viable. In colder climates, like the lower reaches of the Himalaya, the Deen Bandhu fixed dome model is ideal because the digestion chamber is underground, providing good insulation against the cold. A functioning Deen Bandhu biogas plant looks like this. Cow dung and water are mixed in equal proportion in the mixing tank and fed into the digester via the inlet pipe. The level of the mixture is such that the area inside is completely sealed and air is not allowed to enter into the mix. In the absence of oxygen, certain bacteria found in cow dung break down this mixture to produce methane, which rises to the top of the dome and is piped to the kitchen. Yes, no, in order to expand the use of such appropriate technology applications in the Himalaya, we trained young men from local communities to construct and maintain these plants. This has grown to become a dedicated body called the Kumau Artisans Guild with over 50 barefoot engineers. The guild has so far constructed 1400 household level biogas plants in eight districts of Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh, enabling these families to reduce their dependence on firewood or other fossil fuels for cooking. At a time when the whole world is waking up to the realities of climate change due to burning fossil fuels, and there is talk of carbon credits for the reduction of greenhouse gases, we must look at biogas with renewed interest if we are serious about providing clean domestic energy as part of our Millennium Development Goals.